Now this sounds very basic and it is, but I've seen this confused so many times, PowerPoint. When people use PowerPoint, they get confused about how to use it because they're so used to using the mouse. When they make their PowerPoint, they spend lots of time, they're using the mouse, moving, 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 and then when they go to make their presentation, they get confused about how to make the presentation move forward and backward. Of course, you can use the mouse. Did you know that the left mouse button moves to the next slide, but the right mouse button will open up a context menu, which is very troublesome. So when you're moving back, don't click the right mouse button. And I see many people do this. So when you click the mouse button, the left button, it's the next slide. It's just like clicking on the screen. Click, boom, next slide. Click, boom, next slide, right? But then when they go too fast and they need to go back, they click the other button. The problem is in Windows, the other button opens up a menu. And then they have this long menu. Then they go to the menu, they go to slides. Then they go to the slides, it has like 50 slides. Then they choose the slide to go back. Well, it's very distracting, very confusing, and stressful. It makes people feel a lot of pressure. So be careful. The right click does not move back. A menu screen is very distracting, and that's what you get. What can we use instead? I suggest stick with the keyboard. Keep it simple. Remember, keep everything simple. PowerPoint works great with the keyboard. Remember, when you begin your slides, it's F5. When you want to start your slideshow, you need to, on your keyboard, press F5. F5 begins the presentation, always. So that's an easy thing to remember, F5. The next thing is you can use your keyboard to advance or uh, move backwards in your presentation. The right arrow moves to the next slide and the left arrow moves to the previous slide, which is so, so easy to remember and so useful. So when you're making your presentation, maybe consider using the keyboard right in front of you. Of course, often we have a clicker. Maybe test the clicker to make sure. Does the other button go backwards or does it open up a menu? So test it beforehand to make sure. Otherwise, you could be right in the middle of your presentation. You go too far one slide forward, you need to go back, and now you're stuck. And you press this button and it opens up a menu and then you're, oh, wait a minute, excuse me, wait a minute, pardon me. Very troublesome. Okay, so that is our visual helpers. These are very general rules or rule of thumb to help you do better. Let me just quickly restate what I think is the most important idea I can put into your head. Making fancy, beautiful, colorful, moving slides does not make a good presentation. Your visual helper should help make your main point more clear. Help your main point be easy to follow. Reinforce your main point. And sometimes that can be very simple. Simple charts, simple lines, simple words. Good luck with making your visual helpers.